What's up guys, this is JA Monster Energy here, bringing you a quick video on an awesome review, uh, I mean on an awesome tweak called um, Photo Albums Plus. Now this is on Cydia for I believe $4, I'll show you in a second, but yeah it's really awesome and uh, let me show you what it is. Okay, so first of all, after you install it, you're not going to get any apps or any icons, sorry. And I believe you don't get any option in the menu as well, so like, there's nothing there. And you're just going to go into Photos. And you're going to see it's pretty normal, except for up in the corner, you're going to get an Add button. And now what this Add button does is if you cl click it, you could add, like easily make a new album without the use of iTunes or a computer. So let's for example call it YouTube. Save. There we go. We have a new album. We could add photos whenever we want. It's quick and easy without a computer. We could also add an album. Let's just put it private. And then up here in the corner you just press the lock and it actually gives you an option to protect your pictures. So like let's put the password as one, two, three, four, five, six. And then again one, two, three, four, five, six. And then just click save. And there we go, you're gonna see that it has private. So if we click on it, it's gonna make sure you type in the correct password and then it goes to open. So now that's pretty much it for the albums. Now let's go into your wait, let's still go on here. And now one thing that is new is if you slide your finger, like if you're gonna delete something. You could actually delete one of the folders that you created on iTunes. Now this is a really neat feature because if you're, for example, on the go and you didn't want to delete, you didn't delete an album that you were supposed to, or something like that, you could just go ahead and simply slide and delete. Now let me go and show you some stuff. For example, these pictures that I took a while ago. Let's say I want to move them into a new album. So now when we clip click up here in the corner for like deleting stuff we're gonna get a new icon called move so whenever you select a picture it's gonna say move one you're gonna click on it and it's gonna bring up this menu and you can select either YouTube or private so let's just go ahead and put that one on YouTube and let's move this one into private it's gonna ask you for your password just go ahead one two three four five six open and there you go. So now, when you go back into your album, you're going to go see on the YouTube, your picture shows up right there with no problem. But in the private one, where it, whenever you have it locked, it's gonna it's not going to show any picture. It's just going to have a lock. And it's going to make you put your password in. And voila, there is your picture. Now, like I said, this is a really, really useful tweak for other people that pretty much travel travel or just don't have time to get on your computer really recommend this tweet go check it out and now I'll just simply side delete as well as the private okay I'm just gonna move it back and I don't know if you click on here and you can move it oh this is new it says rotate photo I did not know that that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and press it and what do you know? It actually rotates your picture. Pretty cool. I didn't know that. Alright, so let's just go ahead and move this back to camera roll. No photos or video. And then simply just delete. Last time is going to ask you for a password just in case. No one deletes your pictures. Your beloved pictures. And yeah, pretty much it. So that's pretty much all for the review just a quick and simple one but like I said I really recommend this tweak to everybody because it's really really useful you don't you never know when you're actually gonna need it but it's better to have it just in case and I'm gonna show you how much it costs so let's just wait for city to load up and I'll be right back alright whenever you look at you search in city for photo albums you're gonna get two options the one for the iPad and the one for the iPod touch and iPhone so here we go we have the iPod touch and iPhone one and I believe this one is for four dollars not completely sure I did not buy it 
I actually got it for a review. So first of all, or yeah, I want to thank a lot Spirit of Logic for sending this copy out for a review and let's check for the iPad one. The iPad is going to be a bit more expensive, I, be, I believe $2, but So let's see. And just here's some pictures on the iPad of how it pretty much looks like. There we go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Kind of the same stuff on the iPad, but just a bit bigger. And I'm not completely sure of the price, just let me check really fast and I'll put annotations on the sides of the iPhone so you guys could see which one's for the iPad and the iPhone. Okay, so the iPhone original, iPhone iPod Touch one, it is $499 and for the iPad, I believe it is $699. So a bit of a difference, but it, like I said, really, really worth it. And one more time, big thanks to Spirit of Logic for giving me the the tweak for review. Now I'm gonna have a video up tomorrow in Spanish about the same review but just on my new channel Next Tech and also the links to the blogs where it's gonna be posted Ayoshi Blog and Kobia 101 so keep tuned for the links and thanks so guys for watching the thank you so much guys for watching the video see you later